Wake up. Oh, Wake that's bright. up. Where am I? Where's Horse? You will answer our questions. Do you understand? Who the edge are you? Why do you have me tied up? What's the point of this? That's not important. What's important is what knife you carry. Strop off! What What am I doing here? What's your favorite steel? 7CR17 MOV. Oh, that was so unnecessary. You are Madman, also known as Can't Get Right. You have many favorite knives and many favorite steels. In 2019, you read Camping and Woodcraft by Oris Kepar, and in 2021, you started following a blog called Knife Steel Nerds. Is that correct? Oh, that was so Is that correct? Yes! What? What? Yes. yes. Jinx, you owe me a knife. Why do you have three of them? Three what? Auroras! Don't assume we're stupid! Oh, uh, now that you bring it up, what's the plural for the Aurora? Is it Aurora? And if you've got them Scandi, is it Aurora Scandi or Aurora Scandies? Like, which one do you pluralize? Is it like an attorney's general sort of situation? Or is it like Aurora Scandi? Why do you keep doing that? If you have so many favorite knives, why do you have three Auroras? Let's go back to the beginning. Your first Mark River, the Mini Kephart 3V. Okay, I'll humor you. COVID. It was during COVID. I had some extra cash that I thought I could spoil myself with a high end knife. And I had always wanted a Bark River, and I had always wanted a Kephart, so why not just. And I didn't have any small knives, so I just found the perfect knife for that. It just made sense. I made a nice neck knife sheet for it, I took it backpacking, I cooked at home with it, and despite it being CPM 3V, yeah, it did stain, and yeah, it did chip, and of course, that made me a little bit upset. But, that's when out of the blue, he just showed up. My dear boy, why the door face? Horse cap heart? Oh, do not flatter me, boy. It's Kefart, by the way. I only jest, boy. It is Kefart. Uh, I'm here because you think I failed you with this here knife, with this design. And in a way, I did. You see, how did you even... It is legendary, but you were foolish to believe that this century-old design would be just as good today as, well as it was back in my day, relatively speaking. If it was, you'd find uh, an abundance of them to have survived all these years. The knives did not survive, but what did was the philosophy, the, the way of using the broadest terrain, a feel of a homely knife, a tang that would continue through the handle, and a spear-pointed blade that is what you should pursue. Why not embrace the advances that technology and time have given you, dear boy? Embrace what other knife makers have learned and what works best for you. No, do not ever ignore that. What do you mean? I have so many questions. Why do you have that accent? You're from Pennsylvania. And I thought you said in your woodcraft book that a knife has to... Hush, boy. Hush, boy. It does upset me widely that some folk misinterpret what I wrote in those days as written in stone, in a way. It was back in Art 6. Those folks will happily drive today's automobiles, but would simply not think about driving in my day's horseless carriages. I merely took the first step, boy. I provided a foundation for everyone else to piggyback off of. Now, here is a riddle for you, boy. If you can follow the North Star long enough to find yourself under a bright dancing rainbow in the night sky, you will be led to the knife you seek. Hmm. A dancing rainbow in the sky? In the north? The northern lights? An aurora? That's right, my dear boy. Here. Take this now. Uh, thank you. Now go on, boy. Have yourself an adventure.
Boris Kepler, huh? Yeah. He descended from Knife Heaven to give me guidance. That's how I got my first Aurora. And have myself an adventure I did. That Aurora Kepart gave me served me so nicely that I couldn't get enough of it out in the wilderness. I practiced my skills using wood from the hardware store at home. But there is one thing about it. The camel bone handle was beautiful, yeah. But the scales were flat. Well, have you seen Bike Stewart from Mike River Knives' videos? What? Look it up. Put it on the screen. It looks like Aurora was the beginning of your obsession. When did you really start getting knives? Play the again? damn video and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's really important. The handles were designed very ergonomically. So you, you have what we call kind of a Coke bottle shape. It's not exaggerated. It's just there to give you a really good, secure grip, but not actually enough. If it was more exaggerated, you could actually get hot spots or blisters from using it. You didn't need another knife. Your crew at Aurora was perfectly fine. No difference in grind or handle shape could justify getting another of the same knife, but you did it anyway. Yes, I did. It was pointless. At one point, maybe, but the tip on the new knife looked like it had been reworked. What? I had no choice but to ask Oris to give me another one. Just, and I wanted it Scandy too. And with the fanciest handle material, so Horace just sent it to me in the mail. What was I gonna do? Reject it? Whatever. The knife was in my hands, and it was. It's all so magical. Dun, dun, dun. I've never had fun. Sorry, Rod. That fast. Someday a boo. And does the say? Never done it. I've never had fun. Sorry, Rod. That fast. Someday a boo. Do you trust me? Say to me, have my life wonderful time in my view should fall out Father and then to say Say to me, have my life wonderful time in view should fall out Father and then to say I'm going to free the genie I ran away And I am not going back And I am not going back You should, you should I ran away And I am not going back Let's make some magic! Now, it took me a while to realize it, but this Aurora's tip was different. I think someone in the factory dropped it and it made it lose its original point and it was ground back in. Uh, you know, it was fine because Horace gave it to me, but had I paid the full asking price for that knife, I would have probably been a little bit upset to find out that that had been done. But it doesn't matter because Horace totally gave it to me and it was awesome. And unlike the bone handle Aurora I had, this one had a contoured handle, which actually didn't make a difference. But the blade was strong, it was sharp, it stayed sharp. I used it for three days in the woods without sharpening it and it was still freaking sharp cutting paper. You're wasting time. Get to the point. Why do you have three Aurora? One night by the campfire, I couldn't sleep because my knife had started to patina. Look, I can appreciate a sword patina, but a stain's a stain, and there he was again. You know, I was a librarian before everything, before I was a wilderness man, before I was a writer, before everything really, before I was someone. 
I would immerse myself in the writings of mankind's greatest works of fiction, history, science. Just if it was written by humanity's greatest writers and philosophers, I was swallowing it to my head. They were tools to use, but to my heart, it was a path to follow. Knowledge is forever, as long as there are libraries to store it. And knives are forever, as long as the steel is not destroyed. Another academic, a digital librarian, perhaps, Dr. Laren Thomas. He knows this all too well. He is the path to follow. A knife that stains, only to be made strong, can reach the greatness of Alexandria in the exact same way that a knife made weak, only not to stain. But regardless of their strength, if they are both destroyed from breakage or corrosion, their greatness will be lost forever like Alexandria. Do you understand what I'm saying, that man? Horus, it's, it's just a patina. Uh, I could even strop it off. It's, it's not a big deal. It is the greatest of all tragedies. So terrible. Many of my knives have been lost to corrosion. So few remain. Perhaps two. I really do not know. And many other great knives made long after my time have been lost to corrosion as well. And some made to resist corrosion are broken despite being great knives. Listen to me, madman. I cannot bear the loss of another knife. Corrosion, breakage, staining. These failures, they must be stopped. Find Dr. Laren Thomas. And that is how I ran into knife steel nerds. And they're right. Why should we settle for trading corrosion resistance for strength? Or why should we be okay with trading strength for corrosion resistance? That's why I did it. For Kephart. That's why I bought an Aurora Scandi Magna Cut. It wasn't for me. It was for him. So you did it for him. Take us back to when you received the knife. It came in the mail in May, and of course, I was right about the tip from my Scandi and crew wear. They definitely broke the tip in the factory and had to regrind it. I got the new one in Lager G10 too because it's an almost indestructible handle material. And of course, to complete it as my water knife. I mean, Horus is Capart's water knife. Since the only way to get a Kydex sheath for a handmade knife is to make it bespoke to the individual knife. But it came out great and of course, I had to go test this new Aurora. was an absolute beast. I could make tri-sticks easily with it, I could break down wood for fire easily. There's no problem, feather sticking, easy edge retention, it was pretty great. Magna Cut Steel was something really special. But could it stand up to stains? <laughs> Are you kidding? It went from Magna Cut to Mango Cut in a snap. And I didn't even bother wiping. And trust me, I'm usually all about spitting, rubbing, and wiping my knives when I'm done using them. But this beastly steel? Why bother? Alright, but why hadn't you given it to Kephart yet? You don't get it. He only shows up in the wilderness. You'll never see him in a town or in a city. Uh, not these days, at least. And that's where I went with the knife to meet him. There you are, look. I got you an Aurora Scandi in Magna Cut with G10 handles that look amazing in the sun. It's, it's the perfect knife. G10 doesn't, it's great, it's indestructible. I made a Kydex sheath for it. 
so it doesn't rot like leather. It's, it, it's, it's the perfect knife for you, man. I found it. Thank you, man, man. Yes. Good. Good. The perfect knife. You did it, man, man. You did what I could not. What the? Horace, no! It is about time. Yes. But feather sticking, that won't make fire! I do not care about fire! My name is Horace Capart, and I will have my revenge! Horace, I can't let you! That's just as far as I remember. We quarreled, and next thing I know, I'm here. There's something you need to know. I was there. We went out on a wanted person search. And after a week looking for you, there you were, screaming. My name is Horace Kephart, and I will have my revenge, blah, blah. You were conversing with yourself. Pretending to be Horace Kephart. This is all in your head. What? Guilty. What? Yeah, I made that story up because if I told you I like Aurora so much that I bought three of them, you probably wouldn't have believed me. So all this time, after all these questions... Uh... My god, you really are the madman. But tell me, why? Why three? It's not three, it's far more. The favorite knife isn't a knife. It's a journey, and I didn't choose the Aurora. They chose me. And really, all of this is because I want the people watching this video to squaffle the like button and click the subscribe thingy so that you don't miss okay, another one of these. Hey, look at you. You're watching at the end of the video. That, that's, that's a pretty huge deal. Thanks for that. Uh, and thank you for watching this video and um, this on these knives, this is the latest one I got. And look at how the Lager G10 just looks in the sunlight. Oh, that just melts my heart. These knives are great. Don't take this whole thing as a bash on the Kephart design. It isn't. Um, Horace Kephart was, was just, he's the granddaddy of the American bushcraft knife. And that's what I was going with. Um, I'm not trying to, to bash old Horace's awesome, awesome knife design because it still holds up to this day. It's just that I needed a plot device. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you really are watching this still, then it wouldn't hurt for me to ask you to subscribe or hit the like button, right? <laughs> Cheers.